right. You know, they're copywriting their seeds, which uh, is crazy. So, you know, that's the other thing we're trying to do down at the Cottonwood Creek Farm is uh, is is do heritage, you know, heritage seeds, heirloom, yeah, heirloom, heirloom, for sure. heirloom uh, 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 seeds, and uh, try to you know propagate uh, propagate that. This is the Rise Up Radio Show. John Bush here, Clay Defoe moderating, and we're chatting with Bill Page of the Friday Free For All Show every Friday from 7 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is KDRP LPFM Dripping Springs 103.1, KLZT HD3 Bastrop 107.1, K261DW Henley, Texas 100.1, and K256BX Luckenbach serving the Fredericksburg area on 99.1 FM. GMOs are bad. Don't eat them. Avoid them if you can. <laughs> Look to institutions that uh, label the products as GMO and avoid those. And as Bill and myself are doing, and uh, our wonderful producer, Denver, if you can, grow your own food where you have, I was going to say you have absolute control, but if you don't have absolute control, throw it in a greenhouse and maybe you will. Growing your own food, I think, is the best way to avoid GMOs, in my opinion. I think we could probably agree yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. It's a, you know, it, it's a... Again, it's hard, you know. It's hard for it's, it's hard for anybody to, and especially in this climate and with uh, the soil that we have in, in different parts of uh, of, uh, of we Central Texas. Springs. We're in Dripping Springs. I mean, but still, rocky. we did a uh, we did a, what's called a lasagna uh, compost, a lasagna cool. garden. Nice. So it's a layered compost with uh, you know a lot of horse manure, a lot of hay. Mm -hmm. uh, and different, you know, cardboard to keep the weeds down, yeah. and then we, you know, and then we're growing right in that. And hopefully, if you give, if you give the soil a head start, the crops can kind of grow down, bust you know, the the roots can then bust up the caliche mm -hmm. as much as possible, and, and it can be, uh, you know, it, you can improve the soil. That's a, that's one component of, of what we're doing on our on our place is using manure, using uh, uh, teas, uh, and and different things to. Im to do soil improvement so that we can grow better food and more food. Now that's what I call sustainably. <laughs> Go ahead, Clay, what do you got for us? All right, gentlemen, got time for about two more questions. Uh, this question, I'd like you both to keep your response to about one minute um, so we can spend more time on the last one, which is more broad. Um, we'll start first with Bill Page on this one. Bill, uh, when can development in America become truly sustainable? Uh, I don't know. John? <laughs> no. Uh, well, first of all, I don't think we can, uh, you can't really just talk about uh, the development in America because uh, America's production, America's, you know, what we're, what we're developing, what we're creating, what we're producing uh, is, uh, is on the decline. I mean, the world stage. We have to we have to think globally about just about everything. I mean, America can no longer afford. The United States can no longer afford to be, you know, isolated. We're part of the world. I mean, China holds a bunch of our paper. Uh, you know, we're we're connected to uh, uh, to Europe, to Russia, to uh, Brazil and South America, in, in in so many different kinds of ways. That we have to uh, we have to think about the seven billion world population and how everybody is going to achieve some sort of uh, sustainability. Development is not you know just continued development is not sustainable. We see those arguments here all the time with people trying to put up houses, housing developments, apartment complexes. Where's the water coming from? Where are the education resources coming from? Uh, you know where are all the other uh, support services coming from fire and police and so forth. So we have to we have to think about uh, the questions that are going to get us to sustainability, and they're involved. They involve you know consumerism. They involve producing more useful things, producing fewer useless things, and uh, trying to. Uh, trying to be good stewards of resources. Thank you. Uh, John, when can development in America become truly sustainable? I mean, I don't know that it can. I, I know that individuals can try to lead a sustainable life and create sustainable environments for themselves and their families and their communities. But uh, the real question I have, and I think the Probably the only dispute that would that would come out because everything is not much of a debate. Where well, no, we, we, we pretty much agree on everything except the level of government intervention in, a, in yeah. people's lives. So um, then the question would be, and I'll just bat it back to you, 
Uh, when do you find it necessary and or when are you okay with it? Because I'm sure you have a, a view of the proper role of government and I don't think that you would see an unlimited government. You sound like you know, anti-establishment, uh, anti-status quo, anti-corporatism in you. Uh, but when do you think it's moral or right, right for government to use force against an individual who hasn't harmed someone else? If I'm the, you know, the corporation down the road dumping uh, pollution into the water, I'm harming other people. Or if I toss my seed onto your property, I'm, I believe I'm harming your property. But for those who haven't harmed expressly an individual, when do you think it's proper for government to step in and, for example, to force someone to use mercury light bulbs 